by this term light what do you mean by light it's a source of live for living things uh, not source for living thing light is a form of energy that enables us to see different things around us right yeah. no light is a form of energy that enables us to see different things around us like you i am i am able to see you you are able to see different things around your room only because of light then later on we see that as we have said that it's a form of energy that enables us to see that we can say that gives us reason gives us reason or it would be better to say that enables us enables us to see things around ourselves then next thing is that you know that there are two kind of objects in the universe based on whether they emit their own light or whether they do not emit their own light you know what are the two types of objects in the universe no see on one hand you have different type of objects like you have stars you have one such example of a star like our sun which is also a star you have example of a star you have example of sun you have example of a candle or you have example of a torch light and a lamp yeah a lamp a lamp does not give give usually any light but if you have a digital alarm that will be giving light in general what i'm trying to say these different objects that we are having over here all of them emit their own light huh? so they by they are called as luminous objects so light giving objects are called as luminous objects yes mom what do we call them as luminous, luminous objects object. then you have a certain kind of objects like we humans you have different kind of planets huh there are different kind of things around your room like table or chair curtain wall huh those yes. are the objects that do not give any light so we have example of like tables chairs for example soil or like water Hmm. Uh, we can take example of different type of planets. We can take example of moons, etc. All these are such objects that do not emit any light. So thereby we call them as non non luminous non luminous objects. Very good. So th these two objects are classified on the basis whether they emit out any light or not. so an object that will be making its own light that we call them as, that are called as luminous objects getting my point now an object that makes its own light so do tell me uh, that if i were to give you an example of a study lamp for example say that i am giving you an example of a study lamp is this a luminous or non luminous object a uh, luminous it is obviously luminous getting it now or uh, say you have a a glass put on the table that is an example of a non luminous non luminous objects very good so that is one thing about light next thing is that you know how light travels in the universe how light travels from one place to another that is another thing which one should think about hmm? <clears throat> that is another interesting thing that one should think about how does light travel have you ever yeah. thought about this how does light travel so you will always find that light travels in a straight line the question yes. comes how do you prove that that light travels in a straight line moaz let's say i am asking you this question prove to me that light travels in a straight line can you think of an activity to help me understand this See, if someone were to ask this question, the same question to me, na, what I would do, na, I would simply place a candle here. I will place a candle, and I will put few number of few cardboard cardboards in front of this. 
I have I have put two cardboards in front of this. Let us increase its length. <clears throat> Let us take three cardboards instead of two. And on the other side, I would ask the person to look from this side. Okay, I would ask the person to look from this side. There's a person that is looking from this side. Okay, now, now I would make holes like this. So what I will observe that light will travel through these holes and the person will be able to see this flame of the candle. Person would be able to see this flame. Hmm. So in this case, the person would say that flame is visible or invisible. Flame is visible. Flame is visible now? Okay. Now do tell me what if I were to take a different type of cardboard in which I have made a hole over here i have made a hole over here now do tell me will the person in this case be able to see the flame no no why because light was traveling through this hole but here it was obstructed by this and it would reflect it would reflect like this I'm getting my point so light was traveling in a straight line and here it got reflected from this it bounced back bounced back getting it now was so why this activity can't we conclude this that light travels in a straight line uh, try to understand this if light can bend try to understand if light were not to travel in a straight line say that light was traveling in this manner so wouldn't light travel like this say for example it would it can travel like this no, it could not. It usually does not do so. Huh? It will be only visible to this person if this hole was made over here. If this hole was made at this place. Hmm. Right now. So this is an activity to help us understand that light travels in a straight line. Getting it now. Okay. So okay. that is one thing about it. How does light travel? So the answer to this question is that light travels in a straight line. Question was how light, right? how, tra how light travels in a straight line. So it, uh, in, a, in a straight line. You got this or not? Yes. Okay. Na? And it does not bend while traveling. If it were to bend, it would have bent from its pathway and it would have entered to this hole. So in it travels in a straight line. Second thing is that it does not bend. It does not bend while traveling. And it will follow the shortest path between the starting point and the end point. It will follow the shortest path. So third thing is that it follows the shortest path. Right now, it's not like the light will travel like this. Or it will travel like this. No. A straight line is the shortest path. Now. For example, let's say your mom asks you to go to market and bring something. To buy some grocery or buy something from the, from the shop. So let's say that this is your house. And this is the shop. This is, let's say, shop. This is your house. So there are two ways to go towards this. This is the pathway. And there's another pathway that goes like this. So you would obviously choose the shortest pathway here to go to the shop now. Yes. The shortest pathway is A or B? A. A is a straight line, isn't it? Yes. So light will follow the shortest pathway. Right now from the starting point to the end point. So this in general is uh, how light travels. Second question is that how light travels? Is it a uh, how does light uh, meaning we have understood that it travels in a straight line? That is correct. Then another question is that can light travel in every medium? No. No, it cannot travel in every medium. But the, uh, one interesting question is that can light travel in vacuum? Yes. 
yes it can travel in vacuum because we have we see that stars and the different kind of planets huh? <clears throat> so particularly uh, like uh, from the sun the light that is coming from the sun it is passing through the vacuum now it is passing through vacuum mm. so yes light can travel through vacuum also so that is another thing about light the next question next thing about light is that <clears throat> uh see this is sun and light rays are coming from the sun in a straight line and you see that you have placed a mirror you have placed a smooth mirror over here a smooth surface a mirror is a smooth surface right yes it's a smooth smooth body it does not have any irregularities in its surface so whenever light ray is comes in contact with a very smooth surface it will bounce back into the same direct into the opposite direction and in the same medium from where it was coming like it was traveling in the air and here it met in contact with glass that is a solid body right now hmm. so light was traveling in the air and when it came in contact with a very smooth surface very regular and a smooth surface it bounces back after hitting this surface what happened it bounced back to the same medium right now getting my point now yeah so here what has happened while we understand about uh, one minute hmm. while we understand about bouncing of light which you is mean also, reflecting exactly which is also called as a reflection so here you can observe one change that the pathway of light has changed the direction of the light has changed all right now mm. can't we observe this light it was traveling in this direction but now it is traveling in this direction mm. so moments ago we were discussing that light travels in a straight line that is correct another thing is that in mathematics you have must have studied about ray have you studied about ray what is ray yes yeah. it is denoted like this hmm? yeah. it has a starting point but it does not have a ending point it has a starting point but does not have a ending point right now mm -hmm. so any kind of light will have a source like sun sun is the source of light here yes so you can assume that this is the point source from where light is emerging in a given direction so we say that sun we can understand it in this manner also we can call this a ray of light also if i were to take this single single line over here i can call this a ray of light okay now yeah. ray of light but is it that only a single ray of light is coming from sun is that the case no or when you light a torch is that only a single ray of light comes out of the torch no obviously no so we will find that light will always travel in multiple numbers of rays of light and thereby we call them as beam of light mm. so ray oh. is a single uh, we can understand it you can call a ray as a, a ray of light as a single mm, not in that manner just understand this thing if you were to talk about beam you would call that beam it is a group of ray of light right now so if you were to talk a point talk about just one of them that will be called as ray of light if you were to talk about all of them that will be called as beam of light getting my point or not was did you understood this thing or not no i did not understand you are not getting the uh, difference between ray of light and beam of light yes okay it's simple see the light traveling in any one direction in a straight line is called a ray of light mm. the light traveling in any one direction in a straight line is called a ray of light and a mm. group of light rays will be called as beam of light 
See. Beam of light or beam? No, beam, beam, B E A M. See, this is this is what? This is a single single uh, see this this is light traveling in any tra light traveling in one direction. This here is light traveling in one direction in a straight line. Mm. So with this is called as ray R A Y ray of light. Okay, mm. no? Now further, I have taken multiple array of light. One, this is two, one, two, three, and then four, for example. So there are multiple arrays of light or not? Please answer this. There is multiple rays of light. So, rays of right, light. Right now, so multiple rays of light, they together are called as beam. Is that clear to you or not? Yes. Clear. You understood this? Good. Yes. So that is beam of light. Another thing is that while we were talking about while we are talking about reflection of light, you should understand this. Another interesting thing is that say that this is a this is again we take we are taking example of a plane mirror because plane mirror is the smoothest object one of the smoothest object which we have. This is a array of light. Mm -hmm. Here we have taken just array of light. When it comes in contact with this plane mirror, it bounces back. So let us understand a few important terminologies here. See that this light over here no, is not, let's say that it is coming from a candle, for example. Because light could be coming from any uh, luminous object, right? Mm. So this ray of light that is falling on the surface this will be called as incident ray. Incident ray. Right now, this will be called as incident, incident ray. So how do we define incident ray? We say that incident ray is a straight line, um, is a ray of light that is striking the surface. Hmm. All right now. So that is incident ray okay. array of light that strikes the surface hope that is clear now what about this second one this this ray that is bounced back this will be called as reflected array the reflected ray Okay, no? so reflected rays are those light rays that bounces off from a surface. Right now. So this is called as reflected, reflected ray. ray. In short, it is denoted as like this is denoted like this. This is denoted like this. Incident ray and reflected ray. R for reflected ray, I for incident ray. Mm. So hope you are getting this and understanding this. Mm. All right. Huh? Or just simply you can write it as I, a small i and a small r. That will be sufficient. Mm. Hope you, you have got it so far. Yes. What is incident ray? Let me uh, write the definition of reflected ray as well. Good. Ray. A ray of light that, that when reflected from the incident ray that bounces off from a surface that bounces off from the surface of light. Hmm. No, 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 not light. See, basically, how we define reflected ray. Now, this bounces off from a surface. This surface, for example, here is a piece of mirror. Right okay. now. So you had an example of a light coming, a light ray coming from this candle. This reflected from this mirror. Because whenever light interacts with a very smooth surface, it will bounce back into the same medium in the opposite direction. Meaning that it's not like it bounced, it's not like it kept on traveling further. That doesn't happen, no? No. No, that doesn't happen. That is going to happen in the case of a transparent glass, 
or water right now like you can see through the, the glass you can see through the water like in an aquarium how you are able to see the fishes because light is traveling across the water and the glass getting it namaz hmm. yes so here what is happening some of the light is reflect uh, some light is reflected from the surface those that reflected ray of light is called as reflected ray as simple as that hmm. and keep this thing in mind that direction of these two rays are opposite from each other aren't they isn't their direction different from each other hmm. obviously the direction are different from each other so hope you have understand this we have been discussing about reflection by the way we have been discussing about reflection we have discussed about incident ray and reflected ray but you tell me that um, what do you mean by reflection reflection means bouncing off from a smooth surface exactly right now so reflection is like a phenomena of bouncing back of light rays when it strikes a smooth opaque surface keep that one more term in your mind opaque object okay now particularly an opaque object i already know all three of them transparent translucent mm. or opaque very good very good can you quote some example of translucent objects translucent objects are like the light can go through but only a little bit only a little bit can you quote some examples of it like <clears throat> uh a glass how some kind of glasses are translucent yes or uh, like a butter paper or a trace paper have you used a trace paper a butter paper that is used for packaging the foods for food packaging hmm yeah right now okay or for example if you were to have a, a glass of milk and you try to pass the torch light through it some amount of light will pass through it so milk is also a translucent object yes very good now why i am saying that why we we, we ha, take took example of this mirror while we were discussing incident ray and reflected ray so mirror here the glass mirror that we use at home isn't that also an opaque object yes it is but some of them are not some of them are not because if see basically how they are ob- opaque let us understand this the back of the mirror is usually it's covered with a very thin layer of silver you know that a coating uh, there's a silver coating so yes. silver coating is done at the back of mirror at back of mirror so reflection is actually taking place from that silver coating because hmm. what do you know about glass glass is a transparent object through which light can pass through try to understand this this is glass light can look at my hand uh, yes yes mouse look at my hand uh, hope it uh, i am visible to you this is glass light can pass through this right now but be- behind my hand behind my behind this glass i have applied a coating of silver so thereby this light ray that is passing through it it gets reflected from that silver right yes. now so actual reflection is taking place from that silver coating here keep that okay. thing in mind as well okay. right now so let us define this <laughs> reflection by the way because question might be asked in exam to define reflection <laughs> yes how do we define this it is a, it is a phenomena of phenomenon Hmm? Um, um, uh, Bon- bouncing back of bouncing back of light of light rays okay no light rays light when rays. it and strikes when it strikes an opaque opaque smooth surface smooth surface right now that is what reflection is okay no later on in this path this pathway path. uh it would be better to say in this 
डायरेक्शन ऑफ लाइट रे चेंजेस ओके ना डायरेक्शन ऑफ लाइट चेंजेस सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट वेरी गुड गॉट दिस ना ओके फर्दर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग इज दैट टॉक वी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइट बट व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट the question is that why is light important for us without yes, light uh, we can't see anything exactly so it enables us to see without light you won't be able to see anything right also keep this thing in mind like whatever things you are able to see on yourself now you will be able to see them only in the presence of light the reason being say for example say for example this is the corner of your room let's say this there's a tube light over here huh. <clears throat> tube light is there and say there's a cable lying over here huh. so if the tube light is turned off you won't be able to see this table only when it is turned on you will be able to see this the actual thing that is happening over here is that as you enter the room as you turn on the tube light the light rays that were coming from the tube light it fell on this it fell on this and though and it reflected from it because this is a smooth surface let's say it's a smooth opaque surface so light rays got reflected and see that you were standing over here so light rays reached towards you see that you are standing over here you are standing over here so these light rays reached your eyes and hence due to the reflection of light taking place from this table you were able to see this table are you getting my point <clears throat> yes. or like in this example will we not be able to see this uh, candle in the mirror obviously we'll be able to see this yes right now so anything that you are seeing you know, around yourself you are able to see because light is getting reflected from those objects hence you are able to see them so in this manner light enables us to see see different things hope you are able to understand this thing for example <coughs> let's say that no uh, i have placed for example let's say that there's a lamp placed over here this is a, there's a lamp uh let's say that you have got something on the table for example let's say that you have a piece of pen or let's say you have a cup placed on this and you are standing you are looking from this direction say that okay no okay so let us understand this from where the light rays will be traveling and how the reflection is going to pl take place right now so in this case now mos what is going to happen light rays will be falling on this cup isn't it light mm -hmm. rays will be falling on this cup now yes then cup is a smooth surface or not it has got a smooth surface yes so light rays will be reflected from it and it will reflect in a different direction now yes so these light rays got reflected from it like this and it reached your eyes it reached your eyes and in this manner you were able to see this cup but what but what if the cup has water in it does it still reflect what what if the cup has got water in it yeah there also you if you were to ever stand by a very calm river or pond water a water that is not flowing let's say usually river in, in river water is flowing if you were to stand near nearby a pond p o n d pond the pond water is is still the water of pond is still it's not moving right now 
hmm. there you might see your reflection if the pond water is clean it's not dirty you might see your reflection in the pond water have you observed that yes huh? <clears throat> so water sometimes acts as a good reflector also so yeah. some the light rays some of the light rays will be getting reflected from this water also from the water in the cup while some of them will be refracted also refracted is a different concept refraction in this uh, you will observe that uh, particularly in uh, liquid and gaseous medium light rays bends yeah. light ray will be bending try to understand this thing like if you you can do this activity like you can take a um bucket of water and you can take a, a piece of stick so you can take a piece of stick and as you put it in this bucket filled with water this straight stick will look as if it has bent as if it bent like this have you ever observed this thing no no try to do this okay no you will observe that it will appear as if it has bent or no need to do that much just take a piece of uh, just take a glass glass full of water make sure that it is not uh, trans it's a glass okay not a steel glass it's made up of glass fill it with water take your pencil and dip your pencil in it you will observe it like this the pencil will look like this pencil is straight but it will look like it is bent i so saw that observe That's it no yeah. yeah so their light is getting refracted that's a different concept by the way that's why i'm not going to discuss it it's a different concept by the way where light rays no bends the rays of light will be bending <clears throat> so here some of the rays are reflected also it's not like all of them are getting bended some of the light rays will be reflected also getting my point or not some of them will be reflected while maximum of, of it gets refracted hmm. so that is the thing and this is how you are able to see the things around yourself hope you are able to understand this and uh, also that when you put the pencil Mm. when when you see it it will some it will be bigger mm -hmm. exactly it will appear as if its length increased or if its thickness also increased right mm. now that is all due to refraction of light okay na no? okay now i am drawing an image in your in your copy or um just do let me know the direction of arrows like just like how we have drawn arrows in this here now yeah. try to keep this in mind the direction of the arrows the direction of light rays from where it is coming how it gets reflected and how it reaches our eyes okay now say that <clears throat> there is a tree over here yes there is this tree and one minute can you tell me how do i draw the arrows here light rays what should be the direction of incoming light rays and what should be the direction of reflected one more thing uh, these are the incident light rays okay na keep that thing in mind incident ray okay and these are what do we call rays. exactly these are reflected rays so do the same thing for this image okay na if possible draw a rough sketch in your copy and show it in the in in the camera boy okay okay mm -hmm. wait i'm not good yes 
Okay. Can I just tell you where it will go? Okay, okay. Uh, see, uh, for for your convenience, I'm writing it like this. A, B, C. You tell me the incident light will be from where to where. The A will be the incident ray and the B will be reflected ray to the C. Not, not like that, not like that. Uh, C, from A to B is going to be the incident light ray, right? Uh, yes. Like that. And B towards C, that is going to be the reflected light ray. Reflected light ray, okay, no? Like this? Yeah, exactly. Okay, now make sure you don't forget the arrows. Okay, now denoting arrow is very important. So that is I and that is R over here. Hmm. Okay, hope you, you can, uh, I believe you can do this for some other images also right now. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Once I, I have understood it, no need to draw the image. Okay, now I got your answer. Okay. So you understand this thing now. You got this thing now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now next to tell me, um, we have been studying that light, how light travels. There was one important thing in it that we should uh, learn. See. Give me a moment. <clears throat> you would get to know that light travels in form of waves. What I'm saying that? Yes. Light is traveling in form of waves. Getting it now. Light travels in the form of waves. Let me tell you how. <clears throat> if you were to look at the light, light will be traveling kind of like this. This is the pathway. This is the pathway of it. Okay, now don't confuse the pathway and waves. Pathway is, is a straight line. It's traveling in a straight pathway. Then if you were to look at the motion of the light, it will be kind of like this. It will be kind of like this. Getting what I'm trying to say. Light travels in form of waves. And how it travels? It travels in a straight line. This is the wave-like motion of the light. Are you able to grasp this concept? Yes. Okay. No? Furthermore, you should understand this one more thing about light. That light is also made up of particles. Light is also having some particle nature. Try to understand this thing. Like everything that you see around yourself has got some particles. For example, a piece of iron. There will be some particles in it or not? They have. Exactly. So in the same manner, we understand that light also have got some particles in it. Okay. No? So here what you will find that lights have got particles and those particles will be traveling kind of uh, perpendicular. It will be traveling perpendicular to the direction of their motion. It will be tra traveling particular yeah. to the direction of their motion. So light is made up of, uh, light travels in a wave-like fashion and in a straight line. Furthermore, what we will see that there are light particles which we call as photons and those photons will be traveling perpendicular. You understand what that, what the word perpendicular mean, right? Yes. Perpendicular. You getting it now? Mm -hmm. Okay, no? good. Furthermore, there's an interesting question that why light can travel in vacuum? Why light can travel in vacuum? That's an interesting question, no? Yes. See, it's the, it's the nature of the light that they do not read any medium for their propagation. They do not require any medium for their movement. 
so light will is they are na kind of waves that are created due to the vibrations it's kind of you can understand that it's kind of vibrations occurring in the air although you don't get to observe it you don't get to physically see it okay na no? also furthermore we get to know that waves are also of different types so what type of wave light is so light is a electromagnetic wave it's a type of electromagnetic wave have you heard of this term before mm, no okay okay no issues light travels in the form of waves okay na no? furthermore it is a type of electro magnetic wave okay na no? electro magnetic wave comma which can travel through travel through vacuum also vacuum all right now now have you observed this thing like if you were to throw a piece of stone in a in a water body ripples forms in it or not yes all right say this is a water body for example in this if you were to throw a piece of stone so that will generate some ripples in it like this water ripples and those ripples kind of not, not they, uh, don't they look like this for example wave like they look uh, they form a wave like they move in a wave like fashion like this try to understand try to imagine this what i'm uh, trying to tell you and tell you ripples develops in the water and those ripples kind of look like this it's a wavy ripple huh? yes in the same manner you can imagine that light also travels in a wave like fashion like this now don't confuse it with the straight line a straight line is the pathway try to understand like light is traveling in the wave like fashion in this manner it's not like it travel like this and then it travel like this and then it travel like this no it is traveling in the form of waves but it is traveling in the straight line it's not like it was traveling like this then it traveled like this and then it traveled like this hope you are getting the concept no is that actually clear to you or not it is clear okay no good <clears throat> hope you are able to understand this thing furthermore when light will be reflecting from any surface it will follow some rules it will follow some law have you studied about laws of reflection no not yet okay let me tell you that also but that will be concluding the class whenever reflection of light will take from any surface for example see you have again got a very smooth surface for example hmm. see that you are lighting a torch over here is to tell me which is the incident light incident ray a a is the incident ray so thereby we can denote it using i okay no and then b is reflected reflected ray okay i Good. have a question yes mos what but if a is the incident ray then b what if we put another mirror in the direction where b is going will it also okay. be another incident ray yeah exactly exactly see then what will happen now see if you were to put another mirror over here uh -huh. see, then in that case what will happen this light ray this reflected ray that got reflected from this mirror let's say mirror this mirror i let's name it mirror i let's name it mirror z so this reflected ray 
that is bounce that bounces back from mirror A, it will become the incident ray for mirror Z. Hmm. Under try to understand it in this manner. Let me make a little bit of change in this. Let us change its inclination. Okay, no? see that uh, it is kind of shifted in this in this kind of like this yeah. <laughs> So it will become the incident ray for this, and this will become the reflected ray. This becomes the reflected ray. Are you getting it? What I'm trying to say? Because it's the incoming light ray that is going to strike this mirror, and this will get reflected. Yeah. So in that case, this will become incident, and this will become reflected. Okay. Anyways, coming back to the what I was trying to tell you about law of reflection see law of reflection basically states that whenever an incident light ray will fall on a opaque smooth surface it reflects back from it and then it will form an angle try to understand this thing like if i were to draw a perpendicular line to this mirror Perpendicular line means that I am drawing an imaginary line at a 90 degree angle. That is vertically above it at an angle of 90 degree. So this line, by the way, is called as normal. What is normal? This is the perpendicular drawn to the smooth surface. Okay, so now you will observe that there will be two angles. An angle will be formed between this normal and this incident ray. Oh. Between this incident ray and this normal, an angle is formed. This angle is called as incident angle. Try to understand. The angle form is called as Simply, you can uh, call it as angle of incidence. Yeah. Angle of incidence. Hope you are getting it. Then an, another angle will be formed between this normal, that is simply a perpendicular, drawn to this surface, to this mirror. And th between this normal and between this reflected ray, another angle will be formed. That will be called as? Yes, Moz. That will be called as angle of reflection. reflection. Are you getting it or not? This is the angle. Okay. angle okay, no? so, so that is angle I and that is angle R. That is angle I and angle R. Hope you are getting it. So say for example, if the value of angle of incident is 60 degree so that of reflection is also going to be 60 degree so here what basically first law is states that angle of incidence that is angle i equals to angle r hmm. so the first law of reflection states that angle of incidence is equal to angle of deflection. Is that clear to you or not? It is clear. Clear now? Okay, so answer this to me. If this angle is 45 degree, if this angle I is angle I is 45, what will be the value of angle r 45 obviously 45 because that is true as per the law of reflection so hope you have got this you need to right be now. in the same angle like that it has to be the same angle yeah. both the angles will be equal to each other right now yes so hope you have got this and hope you are understanding this. There are a few more important topics left to be discussed in this. Later on in the chapter, we would be understanding about 
like in some cases multiple reflections will be happening like have you ever played with the kaleidoscope no not a, you haven't used a kaleidoscope no okay okay see there are few topics left to be discussed like we'll be later on in the next class we'll be learning about kaleidoscopes see this is how a kaleidoscope looks like by the way then ever imagine this thing like how the people that go in the submarines how do they look at the surface like if they have to look at the surface of water if there's something on the surface of water how do they look at that you're understanding my question or not first of all tell that to me mm. yeah mm. not getting it see kaleidoscope is a kind of toy that a gives pattern? you interesting pattern yeah no it's not a pattern you will see kaleidoscope toy they put like uh what we call this kind of toy inside this now you will get some very interesting patterns can be observed using this kaleidoscope we need to put it in your iron twist it? exactly exactly you need to twist it and you will be getting different patterns every time you twist it you will get different patterns like this as you can see in this image getting it or not the hmm. so kaleidoscope we'll be learning about it in the later class then we will also be learning about few other things like how shadow formation takes place huh? how shadow uh, formation takes place and then we'll be studying about scattering of light also those are few things uh, refraction of light is also left to be discussed then we know that white light is made up of several different colors huh? like if white light is passed through a prism have you have you used a prism or have you saw a prism well, a glass prism I've seen it in my school when we were doing uh, this one experiments okay. during the experiment you have observed that when white light passes through the prism it splits into seven different colors yeah like right now like violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so that will be doing in the next class okay now okay okay if you have any other questions from this chapter please let me know okay you got any questions no okay okay uh, i'll be end ending our class with this uh, do tell me about the law of reflection which you studied today what do you understood from it i understood that the first law of of the reflection both incident ray and reflected ray has to be in the same angle has to be equal to each other yeah same has to angle. be equal okay now same angle basically means that they are equal to each other yes right now okay uh, name uh, give some examples of luminous objects